we're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going. We're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for for many workers. In Silicon Valley, and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their home countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe. If you do like what you're listening to, please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order Book. The New World Order Book is going to show you how the world works. It is definitely time to wake up out of your sleep in the times that we're in right now. Plus, guys, we know we're waiting on that next main event towards the end of the year. We had the first quarter event. Like I told you, that would happen. Don't forget this is Shemitah year. And then also, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's definitely time to re-educate. And also, those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon, much love, keep it coming. Do not forget I have the New World Order cryptos in my Patreon. Do your own research, but going inside of a bear market, you definitely want the cryptos that have real use cases. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores, keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. And we saw Bitcoin and cryptos creep up. But right now we are pulling back slightly as I'm doing this video. Don't forget we have options tomorrow. So we definitely are going to be pulling back. And then on the weekend we are the only game in town. And Jim Cramer this morning was speaking about the Fed. And they said the stock market went up because of an algorithm. It was so happy that the Fed didn't do 75 basis points. So guys, we know how the NWO do. They can twist and turn anything because they control all media. And we know the sheep are going to believe them. With a $9 trillion balance sheet, we cannot hold interest. I don't care whether they run an off or not. We cannot tolerate interest rates. And like I stated, we're just going to be pumping and dumping in stocks and cryptos a trader's dream, especially for Black Rocks or Latin. Now, guys, don't forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have volume, we have tether, we have USDC, plus we have the Fed increasing the interest rates by 50 basis points. Don't forget to pay attention to the repo. It's going to be very, very important. And then also, guys, remember they say they're going to be rolling off this balance sheet. And that is like another interest rate hike. And then also we have Grayscale. And as we see Grayscale moved up about $2 billion, make sure you're paying attention to the actual allocations. Remember, they are moving lockstep with the actual Fed. Now, getting over into a little crypto news, we have Chainlink set to power Latin America real estate platform. LaPrompt will tokenize the real property and investors will get a percentage of the rental income. And remember, guys, you will own nothing, but you will be happy. Majority of individuals will not own a piece of property, will not own a whole share of anything. They will own a percentage of it. There will be no need for the way we do loans now as far as with banks. 
Because with tokenization, you can go to the average person and get funded immediately. And due to blockchain, the contract is already there. Now we have Valkyrie launches Avalanche Trust for trade for exposure to Avalanche token. So make sure, guys, you follow the money. Now we have Solana Pay enables two-way interactions between merchants and consumers. And remember, guys, this is Schmitza year. This is building, and we constantly see Solana building. Now we have Elon Musk as big investors for Twitter. And remember what I told you guys about these platforms. They're set up for the fourth industrial revolution, taking away all your privacy. All these NFTs, that's what it's all about. But now they got the investors, Binance, Sequoia, Fidelity, just the name of few. So the move that Elon Musk is making, we see the NWO footprints all over it. And speaking of building, we have Opera Browser enables direct access to BNB chain DApp ecosystem. Now we have Alcy Exchange Swift X to offer no lock in yield on crypto. And we know DeFi is a new banking, and that sounds like the average savings account that we know in the legacy market. Now we have France's Financial Authority approves Binance's registration as a digital asset service provider. Also, we have Tron's new algorithmic stablecoin USDD goes live. And guys, what I tell you is that stablecoins are the foundation of this crypto economy. Why? Because it acts just like the dollar. But the difference is these stable coins are programmable. So the government can say this crypto can only be used for transportation. This crypto can only be used for food. And don't forget what David from R3 stated. In order to boost the economy, we could airdrop this free money. They have three to six months to spend it. A uh, poof is gone. And we clearly see eventually that's what they're going to have to do. Raising rates across the global economy is going to crush this economy. So then therefore, they can bring in crypto and blockchain. Now we have Shiba Inu can now mint their own virtual land and sheep. And remember, guys, they're going to take everything in this real world and put it in the virtual world. They want the millennials and Generation Z to go inside the metaverse so they can download that brain inside the cloud so the sheep can be controlled forever. And then we have Gucci, the latest luxury brand to accept crypto payments and store. And I think they're traveling like five stores inside the United States. And lastly, we have California governor issues a blockchain executive order. We're getting ahead of the curve. And we know blockchain gives the NWO the all CNI, and this digital economy definitely becomes an illusion. You're going to be putting in sweat equity for digits. Remember, everything that the most high gave you, gave you for free. We always hear talks of feeding the homeless, but people don't use the common sense. When I was growing up, they used to plant pecan trees, peach trees, plum trees, all types of trees that produce. Now when you go to these cities, downtown, that's all they have is dead trees. This universe is centered around death. Do not allow that. Speak life. We could feed the homeless with fruit trees, nut trees, and wouldn't cost you a dime. It's time to get back gardening. And remember the crypto teacher told you because he knows. When it comes to the new world order, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book, plus the three kids' books, it's time to re-educate. Also, if you know cryptos, Coinbase, BitChu, Binance, and not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Crypto Teacher Stock Channel, Crypto Teacher Stocks. You have your Kobo, your Chip Stocks, your Banking, your Gaming, where everybody's sitting at home, get home stocks, the c where the Biotech Stocks, and where everybody's at home wishing they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks, and y'all have a wonderful day. Powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change 
the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part 2. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Goes to China. It's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.